Welcome to AMC Month in Review, your guide to everything that's happening around the command. This month, Vice Chief of Staff of the Army General James McCombell, Acting Secretary of the Army Ryan McCarthy, and General Darren McDo visited AMC. General Perna spoke to future leaders of Army Contracting Command and greeted presidents from North Alabama universities. Lieutenant General Edward Daly received his third star and helped open the new gate on Redstone Arsenal, and so much more. It's episode 35 of AMC Monthly Review. On August 2nd, Major General Alan Elliott, AMC's Deputy Chief of Staff, and Mr. Max Weish, AMC's Deputy Chief of Staff for Personnel, met with a group of AMC summer hires for a brown bag lunch session to teach them about opportunities within the government. My concern is that your generation and a lot in our generation, we've adopted this, we've adopted this feeling of entitlement or that we deserve something. <laughs> we deserve nothing. We've forgotten that you gotta earn it. You have got to earn it. On August 3rd, Vice Chief of Staff of the Army, General James McConville visited AMC and received an update from General Perna on AMC's strategic and operational readiness. If you had one message to give to the Redstone workforce, well, we, what we, would we, that be? We just want to thank them uh, for, for doing a great job supporting our soldiers who are forward in the fight. On August 4th, AMC headquarters personnel took time to celebrate the command's 55th anniversary enjoy some team building events, and reflect on the mission at Organization Day. That same day, General Perna spoke to students attending the Army Contracting Command course and the Intermediate Qualifications course at the University of Alabama in Huntsville. The topics discussed included the strategic environment, the global presence of AMC, AMC lines of effort, and leadership. On August 5th, Major General Elliott, families, community members, and local leaders came together to honor the sacrifices of more than 1.8 million service members wounded or killed by an enemy of the U.S. at an annual Purple Heart ceremony held at the Hearts of Purple Heart Monument. On August 7th, Lieutenant General Daly pinned on his third star and became AMC's Deputy Commanding General and Redstone's Senior Commander. I, I will tell you that um, I am absolutely proud uh, to be part of Army Material Command. I'm absolutely proud to be able to be part of this tremendous profession of arms um, and be part of the 1% uh, of the country that serves on freedom's frontier in support of our democracy. On August 8th, AMC hosted the presidents of the four largest universities in the North Alabama area, Alabama A&M University, Oakwood University, the University of Alabama in Huntsville, and the University of North Alabama play a critical role in helping to build the next generation of military and civilian leaders. That same day, Major General Elliott administered the oath of office to the newly promoted AMC Band Commander, CW4 James Betancourt. On August 16th, Lieutenant General Daly stood by Alabama Governor Kay Ivey while she cut the ribbon to the new Gate 9 on Redstone Arsenal. On August 17th, General Perner shared his thoughts on the critical nature of building partner capacity during the AMC Security Assistance Enterprise Senior Leader Forum at Redstone Arsenal Sparkman Center. Perna highlighted the real-world effects of foreign military sales as opposed to case numbers and dollar amounts, and noted that the effects would enable partner nations to fight alongside us and help win wars. That same day, Ryan McCarthy made his first visit to AMC since assuming duties as the acting secretary of the Army. He received an update brief on strategic and operational readiness from General Perna. Before leaving, McCarthy sat down with AMC's Kimberly Hansen for a quick interview. Just tell me, how was your visit to Redstone Arsenal? I've had a great day. Mm -hmm. uh, this is my second week on the job, and I needed to get out and meet with the commanders, understand the priorities of the command, and really a listening tour, if you will. On August 22nd, General Perna stopped by the 2017 AMC Public Affairs Workshop to provide his perspective on synchronizing communications across the enterprise. On August 28th, General Perna held another walk and talk with AMC personnel. Did you attend this time? If not, come out for the next one. On August 29th, General Darren McDo and his staff from the U.S. Transportation Command visited AMC and General Perna to synchronize strategic postures, plans, and operations for current and emerging strategies. To find out more about these topics, visit AMC's webpage. And thanks again for checking out AMC Month in Review.